Hi all, uh, today we're um, testing just for men, uh, beard trimming, uh, moustache and also beard as well. This uh, product is a light brown, as you can see there's different uh, shades on there, so if you've got dark grey, it will kind of come through, um, but you will have light uh, greys on it there. Um, today we're showing, um, showing the instructions on the back of the box itself and then um, on the back there how to use it um, so inside the box uh, sorry uh, on the outside uh, we're looking at it's got a brush in first then a five minute timer and then shampoo it out a bit of instructions itself uh, what it looks like and they say and then what's inside the box a mixing tray the color the color both colors a brush and some gloves there okay so i'm just going to get the stuff out of the, the box itself so there's the tray that i've just pulled out on the side um to give you a few so that's the gloves that comes with it so that's the disposable gloves the tray and also the instructions uh instruction ma uh, manual itself there okay as you can see i'm in my bathroom at the moment because that's the safest place itself uh, when dyeing, so that's the uh, sorry, dyeing your beard. That's the color base itself, just for men. Uh, put that one to one side. Just uh, going into the box to get the other one there, which is the coloring develop uh, developer. So further on down the then down the line, we'll show you how to uh, put them both together, and then uh, the box itself there. Okay, so. Um, there's a couple of things on here at the moment. So that's the brush itself. So you've got to use the brush on both sides then, okay? So I'm going to move into like a bigger space itself um, to show you the instruction manual. The instruction manual is pretty big itself. As you see, I'm not in my bathroom at the moment. I'm showing this on a uh, bed itself, for example. So it's a step-by-step -step, uh, guidance. It does ask you to put a tiny bit on your skin um of the developer itself there just in case you get in a uh, rack and a rash or something like that or a um irritation from the this dye itself and then it's instructions how to follow it itself it's pretty long itself there so we say roughly about a meter uh folded up so one side is english and then we've got the french side quick uh, gl glance from the french side so we're going back to myself so this is the disposable gloves. Just putting the disposable gloves on so it's safer. As you can see, I'm uh, just showing you the, uh, the easy use on it and it'll fit any hands. I put the both uh, liquids uh, side by side and I'm mixing it using the back end of the, uh, what do you, uh, what they call it, the, the back end of the brush itself. So just uh, mixing it, mixing it. As you can see, it's changing color. In one case, in one case, so make sure you use the whole lot um, as I'm trying to mix it as well. It's a little bit difficult when you're mixing on camera as well. So um, as you can see, some of it on the left hand side is more, much more darker than the you know the right hand side. And then uh, we just mix in the whole thing there. So it's a couple of set, uh, couple of mixes uh, through it. So I was dragging the dragging the the back end so it covers the whole lot so i don't uh, mix any of the um the two you know uh, the two colors and the uh, binding uh, ingredient so i don't miss any any of it so that's what the color is um it was a little bit darker when um, you can see it by you know face to face so as you can see uh, i've taken my uh, jumper off because uh, i'm using dye itself um anything gray or white then it could stain your your um you know things so just slightly brush on both sides itself start from the top work your way down itself so um bo use both sides of the brush as well so as you see using one side go back in itself there it doesn't matter how much you put on the brush itself i'm just going to work it in first of all all over it as you can see i've got a bit of grays on the top bit uh, the top bit of the the actual where my gray gray hairs are more like the it comes around by the chin area itself. So I'm uh, clearing the you know mass uh, brushing it completely into the 
into the actual grey area. So I start from side, should take my glasses off, but you know. So what I'm just doing now, just uh, applying all the uh, applying everything into it itself. So just wait for that now. As you can see, I'm using both sides of the brush it, itself to actually, you know, work it in both sides itself. It's quite a lot of mix there. So um, for a big, thicker beard itself. So as I, I as you can see, I've got like a um, a thin, uh, thin style beard. But if you've got a big, massive beard, you should have enough in there. Um, so as you see, I'm just uh, going over where the greys are. Again, uh, rub it in. And there you go. Um, I didn't have to do my moustache itself, uh, but just in case the, the whole thing uh, doesn't, you know, look right itself. I have two different colours on it. I did my moustache because it's complete as well. So I'll just start on the moustache, uh, making sure everything's all right then. So using both sides of the brushes again. So I'm just touch, uh, just slightly touching it, to, touching up. Yeah, go, going over, make sure it's all you know, put into the thing, you know. As you can see in the, the tub itself, I've got tons and tons of things because I'm not using uh, quite a lot. So I'm uh, reapplying it over the, the area itself and, you know, just massaging it around. Just showing you, you know, how uh, the step by step uh, part of it, I'm just going over because um, the whole um, liquid looks like you can do a full be beard, like I said, uh, or you can just go over uh, the places where you've got the graze itself. Come back over where the grays I've got on there itself. So just making sure I can uh, cover that area uh, on both sides now. So that's nearly me finished uh, on that one. So on the next step there, it says, okay, so I'm just going to get applying all the different things there. So on the next step itself, it's asking you to leave it for about five minutes. So um, just give a few more minutes now. So quite a lot of uh, stuff left. So this is how I, uh, sometimes I use beard stuff itself there. This is how I don't, you know, t uh, so the misses don't tell me off and all that lot. So, you know, put it inside the, the glove itself, the liquid, and then put it in uh, on both sides. And then so it doesn't come out in the bin itself, just uh, put the glove over the other side of the, you know, the glove itself and then uh, they go so that goes into a packet there and then straight into the bin then so as you can see it's all covered uh, both sides all over the beard itself and down the side so there's going to be a five minutes like five minutes but i've put a fast forward a bit so it's a few minutes later as you can see it's all gone like a black color so it looks a little bit weird at the moment uh, normal dye, so I've got it all over my face, and it looks like a coal mine. So I've already done a, um, you know, some water itself, some hot water, and a bit of, uh, you know, soap itself on on this. So I've just tried to wash it off, uh, just itself, like I've just tried to wash it off itself. So apologies for the strip, um, as the thing was starting to stain itself. So I've gone straight over to. Uh, going to pick up uh, flannel itself. So as you can see, round uh, my skin area. Um, so with this one, I'm just going to massage uh, massage uh, some shampoo into, you know, just a tiny bit into the beard itself there, just to get it all uh, put down. So um, so massage massage it in. Make sure it's uh, covering the skin as well, and also the bottom. As you can see, it, there's some uh, staining on there at the moment. So I'm just going to massage that in. I leave uh, quite a lot of dirty water when I was washing my face as well, just to let you know. Um, so you might need to, you know, do the sink itself. 
Um, it didn't splash anywhere, so that was cool. Um, as you can see, it's stuff coming off there. So um, with the last one, I tried washing my face as you do in the mornings. With this one, I'm using the um, just plain flannel just to scrub off uh, where the the black areas was. As you can see on the skin, there was black areas run by the skin itself. So I just washed that off and get it sorted. Um, just looking at everything itself, um, as you can see, um, and now when I've uh, finished washing, so I'm just going to go through a few things. So it's washing off side. I have got um, uh, some part of the beard itself that is growing back. Um, so I'm not actually fully uh, uh, better shaved uh, to do this. So it's uh, filled quite a lot of the the normal stuff on the bottom and on the top. So I'm not uh, proper shave uh, shave on this. Um, let's have a look. So. Just looking uh, different, see where I've missed. Uh, so just finishing off there. So just looking at itself. So as you can see, with this, uh, my beard is um, it's all right. It's done, but where the greys are, it has covered some of them. But uh, some of the like really thicker, thicker greys, it has not covered it, so they're still on show. Um, but as you can see, there's little white bits. So I've got to be uh, you know, properly with these, uh, you know, reviews itself. Um, yes, it's a good color itself. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's come out good. Uh, but if you've got the thick, thick gray hair, gray hairs like that, doesn't look like it's covered it. it it's covered most of them, but there's the fewer little strands, as you can see in the beard itself. I will bring it forward so you can look at it. So, it's, and that's the end of it. Thanks very much for listening and watching. Uh, leave you comments at the bottom then. Okay, thank you. Bye.